On today's episode of Coogan Tuning, we're going to show you how to street tune your car on Honda S300 inside of a chipped ECU. VTEC or not, your choice. Not here to judge. It all goes bad at the end of the day. Um, we'll go over the do's, the don'ts, proper fueling for all motor supercharged, turbo, nitrous, um, how to set up the base map, a couple of safety parameters that are actually built inside of the S300 S manager um, software. And let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and open up brand new map here. Always start from scratch. Once we open up S Honda S Manager, we can go ahead and click on New Calibration. Got all kinds of options here: stock JDM P30, D16, P72 GSR, so forth and so on. I always start with a JDM P30 map for everything. No matter what it is, that is what I start with. So I'm go to fueling here. We're going to click on the number one for low cam and we're going to go ahead and interpolate this. You can right click and then click interpolate or control P. We're going to do the same thing for high cam. Condition timing for high cam, we're going to do the exact same thing from 4500 all the way up to 8950. We're going to go ahead and press Control J and bring up this option and select those selected values to 24 degrees. And then the column before that, we're going to go ahead and enter that to 20. 2450. We're going to go ahead and fix this little section here. Control P again. Boom. Minus one. Boom. And then from column six, one to six, I'm going to go ahead and subtract one degree of timing. going to go ahead and set the ignition idle column it's going to go to 16.5 degrees you can go ahead and adjust it based on how the car responds if you have stock injectors 16.5 should be fine the rpm to 950 in the box that it allows and idle speed versus engine cooling temp here are some vtec settings for the different cams that you could have um, these are estimates and things can change based on whether the car is turbo or what mods are done so forth and so on. Here are some RPM limits based on the different engines, what I found works and where it normally just caps out. There's an option for fuel cut or ignition cut. I don't recommend using ignition cut unless you want the cool pops and bangs, but it's there. Or we can select where we want our wideband input to be. If you are street tuning your car, I do highly recommend wiring the wideband to the ECU so you can get a reading on the computer and you can make use of some of the other parameters that the S300 does offer.
you have a map sensor that isn't listed, I would suggest inputting the custom settings. Uh, most Honda, Omni, Speed Factory 3 and 4 bars use the same settings, so I wouldn't get too hung up on which one's which. You can just select um, Honda 3 bar or so forth and so on. And that will go ahead and conclude part one of setting up the base map. We're almost ready to street tune the car and stay tuned for part two. Check out our website. We got parts, um, hoodies, t-shirts, stickers. Support us, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. If you have any personal questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, have a good day.